watching Level 3 Scales, a part of my 5-minute piano theory series. I hope you remember Level 1 and 2, Reading Music and Scales, where we learned the notes on the staff as well as how to find major and minor scales on the keyboard. If not, it'd be helpful to review those topics by clicking on the links in the description. Today, we'll focus on how to write those scales on the staff and recognize some patterns within major and minor scales. Stop by 5minutepiano.com to print out the worksheet so you can follow along as we go. Let's start with the C major scale. The cheat sheet at the top that you see with all the letter names, that is available to print out at 5minutepiano.com as well. Here we have everything we need to write the C major scale on the treble clef staff. Start by drawing middle C, then D, E, F, G, A, B, and C. Each scale note has its own name. The first note is tonic, which names a scale. It is also the last note of the scale, in this case both C. The second scale note is called the supertonic. The third is the mediant. Fourth is the subdominant. Fifth is the dominant. Sixth, submediant. Seventh is the leading tone. And then we're back to the tonic. Memorize the most important scale notes. The tonic, Do. That names the scale. This is the most common scale note to start and end a piece with. It feels like home. The dominant, sol, always a fifth up from the tonic. Ending a phrase on the dominant can create tension. It leaves you feeling far from home. And the leading tone, T, leads back to the tonic. This makes a great second to last note if you're writing a piece. At this time, you may pause the video to complete practice exercise number one. Let's try the C natural minor scale, starting on C3. Draw the next note, D. Notice any note on or above the middle line has a stem that points down. Next is E flat. Here notice that the flat is written before the note, but after the letter name. Then F, G, A flat, B flat, and C. So C is the tonic and names the scale. G is the dominant, a fifth up from C. And B flat, the second to the last note, is the leading tone. The natural form of the minor scale is the only major or minor scale to end with a whole step between the leading tone and the tonic. All other scales end with a half step, which has a stronger pull back to the tonic. Now let's see if we can use our knowledge of scales to identify the name of a scale. First, determine the tonic, which will give us the scale name. In this case, tonic is B, but is it B major or B minor? The difference between major and minor can be determined by finding the first half step. If it's between the third and fourth notes, it's major. And if it's between the second and third notes, it's minor. Our scale starts with a whole step, as all major and minor scales do. The second step is a half step, which identifies it as a minor. But what type of minor scale? All minor scales start the same. It's the last half of the scale that will determine which type. Skipping ahead to the fifth scale note, we find a half step. That rules out the melodic minor, which would have a whole step here. Next, we have a skip of a whole plus half step, which rules out the natural minor. So it must be B harmonic minor. Now it's your turn. Pause the video to complete practice exercise number two, because in a moment I'll be giving away the answer. Spoiler alert, you're about to see the answer to number two. It's A major, and the tonic is A, dominant is E, leading tone is G sharp. Join me in the next video, Level 3 Chords, where we'll get into chord inversions and seventh chords. Thanks for watching.